So SVHCs within REACH are substances that are considered to be risk substances. SVHC stands for substance of very high concern. Now, the thing is that substances are treated differently within the REACH regulation. As a matter of fact, you can actually sell a product that contains an SVHC above a certain limit. And I think that is 0.1% by weight or something like that. So let's say that this AirPods case contains an SVHC, one or more above the set limit. Can I sell it? Well, I can. It's just that I will need to register that substance with the SCIP or the SCIP database, okay? Now, I don't think that Apple would sell a product that contains an SVHC, it's just to, to ground this a bit. Now, the big question for you as say an Amazon seller, a brand, an importer is, okay, I can keep selling, I need registration, but how do I know if my product contains an SVHC, one or more SVHCs. Well, in theory, you should be able to obtain some sort of test data, some sort of test report from your supplier, okay? Now, in reality, it's very rare that a manufacturer outside the EU can actually provide this. So, in practice, the only real way to find out if a product, a material contains an SVHC, one or more, is through third-party testing. Another issue that you will face is to determine which SVHCs to actually test for. Well, this is where testing companies can come to the rescue. Now, if you reach out to any established testing company, be it Kima or SGS, Intertech and so on, well, as part of the quotation procedure, they will then determine which SVHCs to test your product for, okay? And this in turn is, is something that they base on, on your bill of material. So if they see, okay, we've got two components made of PP plastic then something from a zinc alloy and so on and so forth. Now, based on this information, they can then determine um, which SVHCs should we include in the testing items list. So you don't necessarily have to know which, which SVHCs to, to get your product tested for. Another thing that can be quite tricky when it comes to REACH testing is that, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, REACH, let's say, defines substances in a different way. SVHCs are treated in a different way compared to those in Annex 17 and vice versa, okay? So sometimes when you reach out to a testing company and you say, okay, we want to test, yeah, this mouse, we want to test the plastic according to the REACH regulation. And if you don't actually specify that, we want this to be tested according to SVHCs, then they might quote testing only based on substances in Annex 17, which are, uh, well, restricted in, in, a, in a different way. Which leaves you with a test report that, okay, it is tested according to, to, to substances in the REACH regulation, but you still have to deal with, with the dilemma with SVHCs and, and registration requirements and so on. In any case, my recommendation, when you reach out to any testing company and you ask them uh, for a quotation, you need to be clear and inform them that we want you to test according to SVHCs and Annex 17 and, well, possibly, uh, other substances that are restricted for this material and product and possibly age group in the European Union. Right? If you want to get updates concerning REACH and other compliance requirements in the US, the EU, the UK and beyond, then subscribe to our channel. If you have questions, you can also type it in the comment section, either on our website or on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.